some of the best tips and techniques from a makeup artist. You're not applying a lip balm on your lips before you start applying makeup. This is going to act as the perfect base so when it comes time to apply your lip liner, lipstick, lip gloss, they're going to look juicy, they're not going to look dry, and the lip product is not going to settle into the lines of your lips. You're not prepping your skin for foundation. I love the Amber Elise Lake Cream because whether my foundation is silicone based or water based, it is going to go on beautifully because of this product alone. It takes the guessing game out of me looking up, is this going to match with my primer, is it not? Not to mention it does not break you out, it feels so hydrating on the skin and I mean it makes your skin look so good. I haven't used a primer in about 3 weeks, I've just been using this and my makeup has lasted and looked so good. If you apply your foundation directly onto your skin, normally you're applying a pump. Well, usually one pump of foundation covers my entire face. But once you add all the product to your face, it's got to go somewhere, right? So you're just going to keep blending it and you're going to have an extra layer of foundation that you're not going to need. The more product you have on your skin that is not really going anywhere, that's just sitting on top of it, the more icky and thick and not natural your skin's gonna look. You guys have been noticing I don't put foundation underneath my eyes and that is because I don't need to and you don't either. The more product you have under there, the more likely and the quicker your makeup is gonna crease. Do yourself a favor, get a full coverage concealer, whichever one you want, apply it to your under eyes however you want, I'm not gonna tell you how, and then blend away. The more full coverage the concealer, the less product you're gonna need. You saw how much I applied and even that was too much. This is where brush tools comes into play. If you apply too much product and you wanna take some away, Get a damp beauty blender and just buff it. Press it gently into that area and you see it's gone. This is going to help pick up any excess product that's really not needed on the skin. Now, that being said, damp beauty blender. If you're able to squeeze this out and water comes out, it is too wet. A lot of times people will comment, I'm using a beauty blender, but it's like picking up my makeup. That's because your beauty blender is wet and not damp. The best thing to do is once you place it underwater and it's really big, wrap it up with a paper towel and squeeze out any excess water. The paper towel is really going to help absorb any water. Take your concealer and place it on your eyelid. This is going to help act as a beautiful base for any eyeshadow if you use eyeshadow, but it's also going to help cover up any discoloration on the eyelids because we all got them. If you get like really cakey under your nose right here, just wipe off any of the foundation that's there and go in with your brush that you use for your concealer. Don't add any extra product. You don't need to. Buff that in. And the cakiness should be gone, but the coverage will still be there. If your brows are long like mine, always make sure they are not drooping like this. This is going to help drag your face down. I have no product on the spoolie. I'm just going to show you if you lift them up, your face is going to look more lifted. That's why brow gel is so important. If you want to see more, I do have a part two up.